Captain Gerald? It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Maybe it's just me. I feel like I've actually recognized a lot of these voice actors. But I'm probably imagining things. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, Gerald, I can see why you left. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. Nice shoulder spike, though. It's really... It completes your look. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. Alois. Drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. <laughs> goodbye, Ger- uh, Not Gerald. Alois. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Oh, Alois. It's like you found your, uh, your hero once again. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. <laughs> oh, Gerald, you almost got him. Almost. Garrig Mock Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. I am so sorry. You have my condolences you, for your sanity. You captain's child? I don't know. Yes, Gerald, could you clarify our relationship, please? I'm abandoned. <laughs> oh. This is... Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm lying again, like with the uh, Sothis, or if uh, he's a you know, he's definitely not a stranger. I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly oh. cut from the same cloth as the captain. Damn it! That backfired. He likes it. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? All right, he's, he's, he's fun. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's annoying in a fun way. Sure, why not? What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? I think I actually was his uh, child, though. Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Yeah, I'm sure you do fine. You have a horse; they don't. Of Saros. They do seem rather skilled. Oh, hey, Sothis. It is wonderful to have a head voice. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Ah, uh, this is lovely. You know, I'm going to enjoy you having you having you in my head. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Apparently so. Though not much better than yours. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Geralt. Or Geralt. Kind of reminds me of, but no, Geralt. The Bladebreaker, the yes. Of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I mean, he only did three damage to that uh, bandit there. I did like 15 in a single blow, so clearly I'm the strongest blade that in the in the entire world. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Uh-oh. Well, he seems like fun anyways. He also seems like the snarky one. Oh, I think I said I that already, though. The three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. I... yeah. I figured as much. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. Ah, I'm sure you were fine. That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. You know, I like you. It's not a, it's not running away. It's tactical retrograde. 
or strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to, uh, stay the, the whole, uh, tripping your friends so the bear eats them instead. Yeah. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. Nah. You give him too much credit. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. I like her white hair. It's always, it's always such a lovely, uh, su surprisingly lovely color for hair. You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Yeah, but isn't he from a different house? It's the kind of person you'd want to uh, look for deceit from. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Hmm. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. <laughs> He's honest. I, You know, Cloud is really growing on me. Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? <laughs> Biting. I like it as well. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. So far, it's a competition between Cloud and uh, Edelgard as to who will be my favorite of these three. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Err, uh, Yes. Never. Not once. I definitely did not uh, have divine intervention from a green-haired dragon deity who can control time. That would be silly. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. Oh? I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... And interruption. Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own... Edelgard, not Edelgard. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please. Yeah, and they're already fighting over me. With me. Oh, there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. <laughs> and I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Damn it, Claude, you really are just a treat. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? I don't know. I don't know enough about you guys. Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? I don't know. Damn it. This is this is too early. I like you all. Well, at least two of you. It's the Ardestrian or a Dest Adrestian. The R is an awkward spot for me. Adrestian Empire, land of ancient history, Holy Kingdom of Fargus, land of noble knights, or the Leicester Alliance, burgeoning League of Nobles. Well, I am planning on playing at probably all three if they're all different enough. Tough choice. Yeah, Dimitri, wait, no, Cloud, yeah, Dimitri's the Holy Cam guy, Cloud has uh, left the best impression on me, I might choose him, I don't know, the Adrestians are nice as well, shoot, alright, I've spent like 30 minutes thinking about this choice, and I'm no closer to deciding, so Let's leave it to random chance, shall we? I'm going to get a coin. I'm going to flip it. And that'll decide. Alright. 
I called heads for a Drustian Empire or Tails for Leicester, and uh, I did. I drew up Tails, so that's that. Leicester Alliance. But no worries, we'll be playing through the other two, I imagine. Probably next will be a Drustian, and then Holy Kingdom of Fargus is the last one. But anyways, assuming the different paths are different enough. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. Oh, well. I didn't realize it was such a burden. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Yes. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Mm. Winking at me, huh? My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. It didn't really give me a lot of information to make that decision based off of. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm locked into that choice yet or not. Tell me about Claude. His smile is striking. Yeah. The way he looks at you. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yeah. There's, um... His face doesn't betray his, um... Or maybe I guess it does. Point is, it's a fake smile. Or maybe not. I don't know. He, he seems quite sincere. But I sense darkness lurking beneath. Yeesh. And Edelgard. She's a refined young woman. And just... Lovely. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, me too, Sothis. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Alright, let's move on. To the monastery. Part White one. clouds. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Okay. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Nice artwork. The continent oh, yeah. of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling yeah. goddesses now control the land. I think I might know that goddess In the south personally. In the region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Nice. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Oh, Leicester. Once consumed okay. by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. That's good. Hopefully, well, who am I kidding? It's not going to last. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. <laughs> the good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. She is so stern and serious. Nice castle. There seem to be missing some gates. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. That is an impressive chamber.
Take it back, you have the best mustache so far. <laughs> oh, young boys. Was this Harry Potter the game? Or Harry Potter the anime, rather? kind of the vibe it gave me for a second. Oh! It's her. Or is it? Didn't she have a different name? I wonder. Started with an S? Did the flow of time bring you here? Maybe she's a descendant? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Maybe it's Skyrim that I've heard you... Heard you in. You kinda sound like Bellathor. Anyways. You've, uh, been... her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea. The Archbishop? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. That was the name, Seros. Yeah, she looks just like Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Must be descendant. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Seteth. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Seteth. Okay. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? If my mind voice has anything to say about it, I think so. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is I look child, nothing like him. Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Ah, uh, damn. Of course. At least you didn't murder her. Right? I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Byleth. A fine name indeed. But I'll probably but never hear you speak of my heart. I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. No, oh, no problem. Hmm. Mm, you don't look too happy about that, Gerald. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Wants you to rejoin. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but but your apprehension stings i had expected that alois would have already asked this of you i'm sure he did on the trip over of course maybe he was just gushing i must step away for now but i expect they will desire a word with you soon who's they please listen carefully to what they have to say oh Until talking about the nobles the three Force back into the Knights of Seros. I mean, you could have run away. I'd have joined you. Though... Sothis might have had, um... A few things to say about that. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Hey, I'm fine with that. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I must work here? As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. Ooh. A teacher. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? 
Yes. Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. Oh, what a lovely coincidence. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. The kind soul. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. <laughs> Manuela. Already kind of uh, coming on to my father, huh? Seriously, that other guy wins the uh, Dapper Award. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Don't leave me alone with these people. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Yes, yes. Though... Yeah, no, I don't really trust her either. Oh, it's you then? So young. I don't know how old I am I. What am I, like 18, 20, 21? Somewhere in that range. That's what I look like. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. Thank you there, Hanneman. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. No idea what a crest is. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. Maybe. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I mean, sure, any chance to visit that uh, mustache of yours? I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Damn, she gets around. Goes straight from the dad right to the daughter. A songstress? Yeah, what the hell is a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Ooh, can I hear you sing? Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless <laughs> chatter, Manuela. No, I'm interested. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Mm, okay. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each. Not at all. Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. I would greatly appreciate that. The Officers Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Makes sense. The Black Eagle House is which ones for are the Slytherins? The Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Just the word Imperial Princess makes me really want to join that house. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. But I think we already decided for this run. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Nice. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Lester I just Lion. realized I'm going to be a Baratheon. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. That or something could go horribly wrong having th three such important people in one location. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. <laughs> hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. Will do, Hanneman. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. Oh... Okay, okay. I like the where you're going with this, Manuela. Let the others mistakenly assume I'm a uh, student, and uh, shenanigans will ensue. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure they are. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. 
Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a Ooh. professor at our esteemed academy is... Lady Rhea. Looks like your advisor doesn't approve. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. True. And I also have voices in my head that tell me to do things. And also stop time. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? Great Fire. 21, wow. He must be like, uh... What? See, if I was born many years after he left... He must be like 60 by now. Close to it, at least. I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Flane. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. Hmm. Well, at least based off this interaction, she doesn't seem quite as untrustworthy as I might have initially thought. But I'll keep my eyes on her. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. And who would this be? Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Yeah. I'm interested to find out more. Rhea, for now, I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Oh, something's going to occur. That's almost a guarantee. Lady Rhea has an impeccable fashion sense.